All right, the watch list for Monday. I'm going to start with a potential bounce play in BITA. Um, I drew a line here that was resistance back here all the way. It's been about a year now, but you had a kind of a cup and handle, and this is the area that it broke out from. And now it's gotten back down here from 75 to almost that 40, 46, 47 area, um, the breakout area from back there. Um, you know, it's gotten there from 75 almost, what, almost 30 bucks, excuse me, in about five sessions. So I definitely want to have this one bounce watch. I had a small bounce trade in it last week. It didn't go very far, but uh, that doesn't mean this week we don't get a nice bounce. So uh, we'll have it on a chart as each day unfolds. Uh, speaking of bounce plays, AVEO had a really nice move from under a buck to over two bucks. Um, I talked about this in Friday's video. Each candle has been closing red, and it's you know so it's kind of weird uh, as far as looking at the chart. But you haven't broken your early high um, in one, two, three, four, five days. When I say early high, I mean like the high of the first 30 minutes. But it's really kind of finding support now. It's kind of sideways. So I want to watch this one for a potential long. It's a couple little tiny bottoming tails through the eight day. So that's got um, potential. And normally, you know, I, don't, I wouldn't trade a dollar forty stock, but whenever something out of the blue gets twenty million shares, literally has my attention for the next week or two. All right, because we can get a nice trade, and if it doesn't meet my midday or our intraday entry parameters, it, I just don't do anything with it. It's that simple. All right, so um, it doesn't cost me anything to have these on a chart. Um, kind of have the same deal with MELA, 12 and a half, you know, a little over 12 and a half million shares a few sessions ago. Three red candles in a row. Time to start watching this one for a potential bounce. Another cheapie, AXN, gave a great move on Thursday and then Friday came down a little bit lower volume. This is one you just want to keep on watch every day because it every once in a while it just really gets going. Um, you know, may need to come in another day, get back down to that eight day, but I really want to Watch that one all week. Um, CAPN, uh, speaking of stocks that make really nice moves, a few sessions ago, it went from a low of 515 to 733. That's a huge percentage move in one day. Um, sellers came in and they held up, and then the stock held up pretty well on Friday. So that is a, a potential big intraday mover. I want to have it on watch. Um, Loco, uh, if you trade this one at all, you'll know that Loco is aptly named. Um, it trades Loco, uh, but 10 million shares, it's hard to ignore it. It did close above. This high back here um, in January was, looks like, 27.15. And it basically closed right there within a nickel of that price after the intraday fluctuation. So this one, after after it calms down, um, might offer some pretty good trades. So I want to have Loco on watch. Herbalife HLF um, gave back a lot of its gains on, on Friday, but... 10 million shares. This one still can move really well at times. Had a great little, uh, great big move actually on uh, on Friday before coming back in. So, um, you know, that's not my favorite of these I'm showing you, but I do want to have that one on watch. GPRE, um, really nice pop back here on 5 million shares and really just kind of flagging. Nice little push down on Friday, touched the 8 day and then closed pretty close to its highs. Um, so this one I think is a good candidate for a move higher. And then W, you know, I, I went back and forth in my mind about whether or not to put this on the watch list. And the reason is, um, I wonder if I can find that on stock twits real quick. Yeah, see if I can slide this over. Um, this was my W chart that I had on watch. Um, and I, I put the chart put the chart on uh, on stock twits. And the reason I toiled about whether or not to put it on is because this is what it looked like and I told everybody I liked it over 30. Let me get that out of the way now. Um, and what happened? You can see what happened. And the reason I didn't really want to put this on watch is because I completely missed it. I was playing gap plays um, on Friday and, and look, at, look at what it did. Remember I said I liked it over 30. These are two minute candles. Um, so had I just been, and to be honest with you, with the gap plays aside of everything I had on watch for Friday, W was my by by far my favorite um, because it had like 60 plus percent of the float short um, and a very small float at that. Uh, so look at this, uh, the opening two minute candle flushes down to 29, whatever it was, 29.55 ish, 
and then boom, right through 30, and didn't look back until it hurt until it hit 33.50, um, and ended up actually going higher than that, went to 34. Um, you know, so it, even though I had it on watch, it still makes me feel like an idiot. But the, the stock market does that all the time. I can pull a thousand dollars out of a stock in, in 15 minutes, and then it'll still find a way to make me feel stupid because if I'd have held it. Um, you know, it might it might have paid me five thousand. So you know, the, the market you just have to learn to laugh at yourself because you're not always going to get every one. But okay, having said all that, I do want W on watch for many days going forward. Now, um, three days in a row up, but to, uh, Friday was the big breakout, nice volume. Um, I think it has to come in now, and I'd like to see this come in for a couple days. And this could be a really good candidate for another move higher. You know, kind of come in, retest this breakout area, and then it would be uh, one of my strongest watches. But it also might just go kind of red to green um, on on Monday, right? Uh, it might open at 32.50, go down to 32, and then go back up through the high of the day. And if it does, you wanna you wanna try to take that high of day break. It, it, it depends on the scenario, but um, I am gonna have W on watch just for that possibility. Even though, like I said, it needs to come in, or it feels like it needs to come in. Um, that what a huge move um, on on Friday and. I, uh, you know, I shouldn't complain. I made my daily goal in the first 15 minutes playing gap plays, but I would have done way better than that um, had I played W and actually um, played hooky Friday after that. Went and met my son and wife for lunch, and then my son and I went out and played golf Friday afternoon. It was his last day of college spring break, and I wanted to do that. And uh, everybody in the chat room was really nice about it. They said family first, and we'd had a had a good week anyway. So um, we'll be back at it on Monday morning. Um, this watch list. I hate to say this, isn't that important to me because uh, who knows how the market's going to open on Monday morning, and I'll be I'll be focused on uh, you know on the gappers more than anything. But uh, a few like of my favorites, if I had to share them, um, I like this B A B I T A all week. Keep your eyes on a potential bounce play on this one. Um, I only enter bounce plays on a proper intraday setup, so keep that in mind. But um, if you want my favorites to watch this week, I think you could get. And remember, guys, I'm a day trader, so I'm not looking. I'm not looking at BITA and saying, "Hey, that's a great looking chart for a long." I'm saying it's a great looking chart for an intraday bounce. And since I'm a day trader and I'm in cash all the time, if the market's closed, I'm closed. Um, you know, I look for things that could give me a nice intraday move the very next trading session. Um, so BITA may or may not give me a setup tomorrow, but it might on Tuesday, it might on Wednesday, it doesn't matter. So I'll, I'll just have it on watch. Till I get the setup I'm looking for, and then I mean, because this thing, if you if you think it's if you realize it's dropped, you know, basically almost 30 bucks in five sessions, um, that's a great potential candidate for a two, three, or four dollar move in our favor as a bounce play. So that's why it's on watch. All right, so that's one of my favorites. Um, CAPN is kind of my sleeper pick for the week because it makes such nice moves. Um, I don't look at that chart and say it's beautiful, but just knowing how it trades. Um, if I get the right setup. And then W is extended at the moment, but keep that one on watch. I'd like to see it come in a couple days. Um, that one might pay, you know, might not be tomorrow, might be Wednesday, Thursday, whatever, but keep that one on watch as well. And the rest of them are still interesting to me, but uh, as always, the weekend kind of gives you a reset, right? Where uh, everybody goes home from trading for the weekend, and then we start fresh on Monday morning, and, and, uh, and we just, it's, it's like a reset button, and we will find gappers, and there'll be more story stocks next week that we can we can trade the setups on those. So um, the weekend watch list is, is usually not that important to me. Um, tomorrow night's watch list, after we get some big volume movers tomorrow, um, usually will be more important. But uh, anyway, I do like some of these for to, to keep on watch for the whole week. All right. Thanks. Have a great uh, rest of your weekend, and um, we'll see everybody on Monday.